Hi, I'm Andreas and as part 9 of my robot arm project. And uh, last video I told you that uh, something broke, uh, exactly the base. I printed a new one and the robot arm is currently uh, moving again. So uh, let's have uh, some tests. I currently don't have to um, control every joint by myself. I use a simple kinematics uh, file to calculate the ang angles. It's uh, used uh, the EK Fast plugin from Robert operating system and I post a link in the description. So currently if I press uh, uh, move this uh, thumbstick down uh, the arm moves up and down so and stays more or less at the same position yeah if I move this in this direction the arm moves backwards and there The arm moves forward. This rotates the arm. I can open and close the gripper. I can change the offset angle of the gripper joint and rotate it. This is a very, very rough implementation, uh, but you can pl I can play a little bit around. So um, here's a cup of or a glass of water. So that's quite a delicate procedure. As you may notice, uh, and I realized this as I rebuilt the arm, there's a real mess with the cables. Uh, let me grab the camera. So I um, have to rebuild uh, this whole base structure. Uh, this is this is not a good. Uh, 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 state at the moment so everything is floating around and maybe short circuiting at least the main board is fixed so let's have a look at some CAD this is the base I de I've designed it uses aluminium profiles which I have left from my 3d printer builds and other projects and also features uh, 3d printed parts to mount everything together and uh, some new technique uh, for me personally as are the wooden plates they will be laser cutted in the local fab lab um, as you can see in the inside 
there are some mounts where the electronics should fit here here and here and of course the power supply and so on should also fit inside the base the side elements are 100 millimeters long and their height is about 190 millimeters that's basically um, all I had left at of these profiles as uh, spare parts for something else so I designed the size to use every uh, bit of aluminium I had left so let's uh, go to the local fab lab and cut the pieces so I'm actually in the fab lab Karlsruhe which is an open lab or maker space. Um, okay, that's the laser cutter. It's a laser sour, which is an open source project for um, laser cutter. And it is basically the first thing we build as a group project in the Fab Lab. Uh, it has a 100 watt CO2 laser and with this you can cut uh, wooden pieces up to about 12 millimeters so my uh, sheet with three millimeter uh, is uh, an easy part for the laser so as you see um, it's quite a quick process that's actually real time it's not a speed up video so the laser cuts through this material very nice for future iterations if the design is stable I use acrylic um, sheets but these are much more expensive than uh, compared to this wooden plate which cost about two euro the whole sheet so actually uh, the cost to laser it is more than the material price um, so this is the base plate and uh, the laser already cut all the holes I, I could use a 3d printed uh, sheets and uh, use acetone to glue them together but this is much faster and I also wanted uh, to use the laser for a long time so this is a perfect uh, opportunity uh, yeah this is our the side panels and the whole process took about seven minutes if you use uh, reduce the amount of holes a little bit I took everything apart and started assembling the new base it's currently not mounted yet that other base uh, uh, the top plate and step aside this is the frame um, uh, which I left one plate uh, off. Unfortunately, the design was not so clever because you can't uh, remove this uh, plates if uh, the frame is assembled. So, well, um, I will de deal with this later. Uh, so. Um, everything fits nice uh, in inside it's not wired uh, now but uh, this will happen uh, next week I also got a Raspberry Pi 2 which will mount it somewhere there which co uh, controls in the future the robot arm just the bottom side uh, plate of the new base and in this uh, so two sheets and this holes I print 
some rubber feet out of Ninja Flex material so the arm sits nice and uh, very good coupled to the ground. Something else I did notice is that I need a emergency stop button. So I found this button and I will build uh, next time a small uh, box which fits inside and connect to, is connected with a cable to the main computer and if you hit the button the arm will stop immediately. Um, you should always have an uh, emergency stop button if you uh, deal with robots like this. And I feel a little bit bad that I still have no. So next step will definitely be uh, to add this emergency button. Um, That's it for today. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all the updates about this robot arm project. So see you soon.